Hello everybody, welcome to Life and Love in the Philippines. Got yet another product to review. We're bringing them to you here lately, huh? Alright, today what we got is an artsy uh, boat. Now, you've seen the other uh, boat, which is this one here. It's a pretty cool little boat. This thing will get you up and go. Uh, it's great. I love this boat. Uh, but this one here is a little different. Uh, made by the same company, uh, SEMA. And it's a double hull. Uh, it's rated for 14 plus, 14 and up. And it went for $39.99. Let's get it open. Well, let's show you this here. This is a uh, picture of the boat. I had one. It tells you it's got twin propellers, it's got two propellers instead of one like this one. This has only got one. Right there. Uh, it'll run about 10 kilometers per hour. Uh, so it's going to be a quick little boat and that baby is fast too. Um, and it's called a Q9 Caesar. Right? Q9 Caesar. Uh, of course the hatch is watertight, the hatch being where you would uh, open it up and put the battery. So, that needs to be watertight obviously. But let's get it out. And, uh, got a little uh, cautionary guide. And then it's also got a, uh, Instruction manual. Now I like this uh, pistol grip here. You slide your finger in there and uh, pull it. I'm being right-handed, so I probably would be more like this. Now this would be the steering right here. This is going to be the steering. This is going to be your speed. Uh, this thing also will back up. It will go backward. Uh, they claim to have four. It, it will uh, operate in four directions. Uh, <laughs> that being forward, backward, and right and left. Okay. <laughs> but whatever. All right. Uh, I put the boat on the other side. It's a smaller boat. Then this one, well I'll hold it up here, compare it side by side. Uh, this one was about $70. This one here is uh, 30, $39, no $35.99, $34.99, whatever, 30, it's about $35. Uh, I put the wrong price up there so I apologize for that. It's a smaller boat. Uh, just turn this little thing here and pop it out. Comes with two batteries. Uh, that would be the extra second battery would be in here. I've already charged it up. Uh, comes with a little charging cord. Again, no wall plug. Everything comes without a wall plug anymore. So one day you're going to run out of wall plug. And you're not going to have one to use. So, well, whatever. Um, Come with a screwdriver. That would be here to open up this uh, area right here. And then that would be for your batteries, of course. Uh, we're not going to do that today. Uh, dark outside. But we're going to get some video. We're going to show you. We're going to take it out and, and uh, let you see how how it works and I know it's going to be fun that boat, boat right there that, that, that thing's a blast it is fun but I like the control uh, better than the one that twists there uh, I don't have the controller sitting out here but it's more like a Game Boy uh, Xbox or something that kind of style it's got off and on right here Give this thing a run about 
10 kilometers per hour. That's what, 20 miles an hour? Something like that. Uh, we'll change that battery here. Uh, it's not plugged in. Uh, well, we're not going to change it out right now because we're, we're not near any water. The reason why I'm not going to do that and show you the, the propellers we run is because these boats require you to be in the water. So it's got little, you can see it right here on the bottom, those little contacts. That's what completes your circuit. Okay, so you're going to charge up your battery, you're going to put it inside the hole here, you're going to connect it all up, you're going to have your batteries in here, and you're going to pull the trigger and you're going to say, oh no, it don't work. It's not going to work. It has to be sitting in some water, which completes your electrical circuit. Okay, so don't freak out. It'll work. I promise you. It'll work. Uh, so yeah. So a little uh, recap, it's got, this one here is a twin hole, and it's got two holes here, I like that. Uh, I've already got one with the V bottom, so I wanted to go with the twin hole this time. Uh, so it's got twin holes. Uh, it'll, it'll work for about 20 minutes continuously, right, continuous run. I probably spelled that wrong, but you get the idea. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, that's your uh, that's your wireless with common 2.4. Uh, got dual propellers on it. A guy called Box. Uh, it takes about 90 minutes to charge up the battery. Charge your battery, and it's going to run about 10 kilometers per hour. That's roughly 20 mph. I'll be a little off. Everybody, don't get all over me. I know that's not exact, but you can generally take metric and double it and be pretty close. Like I can get on the uh, scale and be 100 kilos, and when I convert it to pounds, it's about 200 pounds. Uh, it's pretty much the same principle. 2.064 or something. It's a fraction. So yeah, I mean, that's it guys on this part. This is the unboxing portion. We're going to take it out. We're going to run it, test it, play with it, and uh, we'll record that and let you see that also. So, I'll slide that part in after this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and share. And keep watching because we're going to add in the actual uh, Maneuverability and speed of this little boat, and you're gonna enjoy it. All right, guys, here's the uh, actual uh, uh, demonstration of the boat. I guess we'll call it. Uh, yeah, I know I'm looking a little scraggly today. I just come back from work and use my work clothes. A chilly day. It's cold to me. Uh, as you can see from the pool here. A little bit dirty. It's winter time. Ain't nobody swimming in here right now. That's, that's normal. They'll clean it up in a few weeks. But uh, let's go ahead and get this boat going. So I already got the controller turned on. It's flashing light there. And uh, if I pull the triggers, the propellers don't work like I was telling. You. It has to get down in the water to complete the circuit. So once I do that, there it goes. Well, it controls pretty good, pretty easily. Uh, it responds well. Uh, it goes back up. A little bit. Of course, that water is pushing it a little. But, uh, 
10 kilometers an hour, I guess maybe that's 10 kilometers an hour, I don't know. But it's not on the way for that big boat, I tell you that much. Uh, that big boat, you can't even run it, it's just too fast. But uh, this is half the price, though. I mean, uh, for a kid, this, this is good enough. Uh, well, yeah, there you go, folks. So, all I can say is like, comment, share, and subscribe. And smash that subscribe button. You got to do it. You know you want to. All right. Bye-bye.